What's up, church family? Just wanted to bring you a word of encouragement from God's word. We're going to be looking at Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 9, and it reads like this. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. You know, one of the attributes of God that I believe we need to be reminded of now more than ever is his faithfulness. God is faithful. And because he is faithful, no matter what you're facing or you're going through, he can be trusted. You know, one of the things that I love uh, to do, uh, especially in this season, is, is talk with many of you. And one of the kind of underlining themes that I have seen uh, in all of our conversations is that we've been shaken. We've been shaken by what has taken place. And, and what I know to be true about myself, and I'm sure you can relate to this, is when, when life gets shaky, I look for solutions that I can control. Uh, and I, I look for solutions I can control because I wanna know when. I wanna know how. I wanna, I wanna connect the dots of, of how will I get out of this. And what I really need to be doing is thinking about God's faithfulness and looking for the one who is in control instead of looking to solutions that I can control. You know, I, I'm reminded of Abraham and Sarah in, in the Bible. You know, God came to them through the angel and said, hey, you're going to have a son. And immediately, of course, they're like, oh, great, man, how, great, but how? <laughs> like, we're old. How, are, how is that going to happen? And of course, over time, Sarah decided she knew exactly how it was going to happen and ended up taking that course uh, uh, where she chose the solution into how they were going to have a child. That wasn't God's solution. It was her solution. And I know I can relate to that. Many times I have taken the solution into my own hands and I have messed everything up and have needed God to be faithful and bring me out of what I've gotten myself into. I'm also reminded of David as he, uh, as he went and took his brothers some food and he heard Goliath in the field taunting the, 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 the Israelites. And David said, man, who is this guy talking to God's people like this? I'm going to go handle him. And King Saul was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, time out. This guy is a giant and a killer. <laughs> you are a shepherd boy. Don't think about it. And David said, yeah, I'm a shepherd boy. And I'm paraphrasing, of course. But David said, yeah, I'm a shepherd boy. But when a sheep, when a, when a lion came and took one of my sheep, I went after the lion. And I took the sheep out of the lion's mouth and I slayed the lion. And then a bear came and did the same thing. And I went after the bear, took the sheep out of the bear's mouth, and I slayed the bear. And then he says something to Saul uh, that, that stuck with me. He says, and the same God that delivered the bear and the lion into my hands will deliver this Philistine, will deliver Goliath into my hands as well. You know, I don't know what you're facing or what you're going through, but some of us need to speak as David spoke. That the same God who has provided for me all these years will continue to provide for me. The same God who gave me my last job will give me another job. Or the same God who has restored my relationship with him, that now we are in relationship and I've got a purpose for living in a home uh, in heaven and my past has been forgiven. The same God has restored that relationship can restore my relationship with my spouse, with my child, with my friend. You see, we need to be reminded that God is faithful and because he is faithful what he has done before he can do it again he does not change he is the same and so no matter what you're facing today and I know we are facing a lot be reminded that God is faithful that God is faithful and instead of looking for solutions that you can control look to the one who is in control. Lean, rely on the one who is in control. I hope that encourage you on today. Let me pray for you. Father God, I thank you and we can rely and trust in you. And so I ask that as, 
as, as your people continue to pray, continue to lean on you in this season, that you would show up big. There are those who need jobs. There are those who, who, who need finances, need food, uh, need to restore relationships, find healing uh, from, from, from COVID and, and other things, God. And again, we are thankful for your faithfulness. Would you please help remind us of your faithfulness when we need it most? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.